going up. I am an artist, uh, an art therapist, a uh, professor, and also I do some community arts um, programming. And really needed at this time. And as an art therapist, I inherently in the way I work, within my practice and within my practice with my clients, I get to see the connection between art and self-care on a regular basis and get the opportunity um, to practice it in many different ways. So I think that it's important, especially coming from a gallery space, to highlight uh, these other benefits of art making and actually to tune into the inner experience that artists have, which I don't always think we get an opportunity to listen to. Um, so thank you. I think it's really cool. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and answer some of the questions. Uh, first, I'm just super stoked to be back in my studio. Um, I was in Florida for about, I had went up just before everything kind of really hit, kind of everywhere, but especially in New York. So somewhere in like the third week of March, um, I went there to care for my grandmother. And then I kind of got stuck in Florida for a little bit. So my initial thoughts were not too much because I was just trying to figure out um, taking care of my family, um, worrying about COVID. I would say that I know what I know about myself is that art making in various different ways has always been a really important coping skill in my life. So. As far as studio practice, I just um, made everywhere my studio. So I carved out a space in the dining room in my grandparents' home and made that my home studio space. I worked a lot outside. Um, thankfully, there was a patio, a yard, and a pool, and there's a lot of privilege to being able to have that outdoor space. So I had a lot of time to create outside, which was uh, sweet because I got to kind of embody and remember um, when I lived in Florida, some of the times I'd be making works outside. And yeah, everywhere was my studio. I didn't have much materials. There was um, some paints and colored pencils, just a, just a bit of material. Went into my grandparents' garage and kind of foraged for whatever surfaces I could create on, um, which was also kind of a special experience, being able to recreate the identity, something that has been a, power, a part of the home. Uh, I, and I feel very fortunate that my practice as an artist already leans this way. Um, I tend to use a lot of alternative materials. I tend to do a lot of interactive work and installation work. So I'm, I'm kind of used to working wherever I can. It wasn't until about a month in or so that I really started to miss my art in my studio, actually. My, my little friends, I started to really miss them. Uh, but yeah, I put out all the material as an effort um, to an, have an invitation to create. Uh, so I know that my family members were grieving and, you know, not to push art therapy on anyone, but I wanted the opportunity for those things to be in sight um, as a way to have an outlet of expression, to self-soothe. Yeah, so thankfully, my studio practice wasn't in incredibly um, impacted. However, I would say because of the space, my work changed. Um, I've been working very small on pieces of paper. I made quite a bit of coloring pages while I was there. I have a couple here. Um, I found these small squares in the garage that my uncles had made for my grandfather to raise his bed, and they served as the perfect little canvases and they're just kind of sweet. So I, I noticed that my work was very um, enclosed in a small space, um, really utilizing that as a container for my experiences and for my emotion, really utilizing repetition um, in my drawing as a way to kind of build a rhythm. And that rhythm is usually what is the soothing and the grounding part. So uh, all the talk about adult coloring, um, I think what the benefit is, is that you um, get into a flow. There's an opportunity to um, fill in space and get into a meditative process. So 
I'd say that my work changed quite a bit in that I usually work pretty large and not only due to, to the confines of the space, the outer space, I think my inner, my interior space needed some containment, needed um, some self-soothing, needed some grounding. Uh, so this is one of the works that I did while I was there. That was also pretty fun because I printed a bunch out and my mom colored some. And this is another piece. Um, but I think it was offering me a sense of control um, when the world around us is so out of control. Creating art can bring that sense of control um, and creating in a contained way can help not to feel flooded or overwhelmed with materials that are unpredictable. Um, so as a way to kind of assuage that anxiety that could come from that experience. Um, so yes, my studio practice definitely changed and I, I have to say that I'm, I'm grateful for that change. I also realized that, um, as I mentioned my coping skills before, I couldn't stop making art. I just had to make as much as possible all the time. Um, I got a little concerned, but eh, it was okay. Um, but I needed to, I just needed to kind of continue to outpour, um, not even consciously an emotion, but there was just, my body was telling me uh, to just keep creating. So I did a lot of little small works while I was there um, and was able to attune to seeing how I cope in um, collective trauma, personal trauma, familial trauma, um, so really to be able to take a moment to kind of see outside of myself in a strange way. Um, yeah, and it was a good reminder. I think sometimes things shift. Um, however, as artists, we mirror to the community flexibility. We um, are the creative thinkers. We are the individuals who think outside of the box. So we are the most prone to um, be able to meet the unexpected and, and form and mold the unexpected. As far as themes, uh, I actually was just joking with a friend about, um, they mentioned to me like my work already kind of fitting in the groove of things. Um, so the themes I work with uh, are, are kind of rooted in nature, but really considering micro and macro communities, environments, um, holding environments, how we feel safe in uncomfortable spaces, um, how we can be alone together, and um, the world we can create through active imagination, um, through imagery, and how we find comfort. And, um, and all the pieces, all the pieces that we need to put together to make the gestalt of things. And that also meaning all the pieces we have. <laughs>